Hey guys, it's Rob. I'm just going to do a quick video on how to set up the Turnergy reactor for regenerative uh, discharging. It allows you to uh, discharge batteries or LiPos at a much higher rate than, uh, than you can just by using the standard discharge feature. Normally I um, connect this charger to this power supply, but you cannot use the regenerative uh, mode when it's connected to a power supply like that, so uh, you'll cause some problems. What I've done in this case is I've connected it to one of these... Uh, multi-star um, 16,000 milliamp hour 4S battery so that's like the uh, the power source that will be used for charging and it will also be the receiver or the receptacle for the uh, regenerative charge from the battery what I'm going to do is uh, discharge this small 2200 3S LiPo so at the moment uh, regenerative discharge is turned off and if we just go to the discharge mode and try to run it you'll see that it won't go more than about 1.2, 1.3 amps on the discharge. And the limiting factor there is just the cooling in the reactor unit itself. Okay, so uh, any uh, discharge coming out of this battery is just being dissipated as heat in the reactor. All right, let's stop that and let's show you how to set up the, um, the regenerative charging. So what you need to do is just uh, go Press uh, setup, or oh, sorry, stop. Press it until you see the settings screen. There it is. And then press enter. Now, the quickest way to get there is just press this uh, decrease button about five times, I think. Until you see that screen, regenerative discharge, and you'll see it's turned off. Now, we just hit enter. We turn it on, hit enter again, you can set the uh, the maximum rate of discharge and uh, I've just set 12 amps there and the next reading is 16.6 uh, .6 volts is what I've set, that's the maximum voltage it will allow this battery to go to. So obviously if you're discharging a lot of batteries and it's all going into the one source, uh, the voltage of this is going to increase and um, you don't want that to go too high. So for a 4S battery, I've just set 16.6 .6 and that seems to work quite well. Now, one thing I'll do, I just forgot to do that before I started the video, so just bear with me. I'm just gonna put this little voltage sensor on the balance port. And there it is, you can see that's what's currently in the green multi-star battery. Okay, so it's currently 15.2 volts, but uh, when it's um, regenerating power back into that battery, it uh, it won't go above 16.6 .6 volts, which is uh, just fine for um, for a 4S battery. So let's start the process. So we've got that. Now what we need to do is go back, back to settings, and then we want to go back to our LiPo uh, lithium battery setting. Go enter. We'll go to the discharge again. Okay, now here you can set the uh, the discharge rate. I've got 10 amps set. The unit has that 12 amp limit, which I set previously as well. So let's just have a look at what happens now. So we hit discharge. Now it asks you to confirm. So it's like a, a safety step in here as well. So yes, we want to confirm it will do the regenerative discharge. Takes a few seconds and away it goes. And you'll see it's now discharging at 10 amps. So that'll make uh, fairly short work of that battery. While it's doing that, I'm just monitoring the um, the cells on the uh, on the battery, the, re the receptacle for that uh, discharge. And you'll see it's gone up 15.3. So it's definitely getting some power back from the. Uh, from the reactor. If we actually hit this decrease button, we can scroll through. And that's the voltage of this battery. And that's how much current is coming back from the uh, charger back into the battery. So anyway, that's pretty straightforward. Just remember, if you're gonna use that method and then you wanna put the um, the charger back on your power supply, you need to go in and turn off that regenerative uh, mode. You don't want it 
uh, regenerative discharging back into a power supply. Hope that helps. Thanks for, thanks for watching.